are heading to Angus Barn. It's a really nice restaurant in the area that has, they're known for their steak, but also more importantly, their Christmas decorations, which are now up for the season. So we get to do a little first look at the Christmas decor and get some video content and everything so I can post it on Instagram, but I'm really excited to go check it out and just kind of get a tour of the place. This place is really crazy in the winter time because you need reservations pretty much like a year out in advance. I think they're already sold out for this year and uh, it's just really popular among the community. They have like fresh gingerbread cookies and a whole like cigar room and wine and steak and like all kinds of other really good dishes um, but their decor is really well done. So when we moved to Raleigh last year I actually heard of the place um, right when we moved. We moved in December so we ended up going and didn't realize how far in advance you need to book reservations so we didn't have one but luckily we ended up getting a table just at the bar. Um, we had to wait like an hour so we just kind of walked around and just ate gingerbread and just you know hung out which was fine and right when we were about to leave we got a text that we were able to sit down and eat so that was a really cool experience that like we got to actually experience it um but now we knew you know how big of a deal it is in the area so we had no idea really before We just got done at Angus Barn. The decor was absolutely amazing. We got some great content, videos. There was no one else around. So it was such a really cool experience. And uh, we got to like go back in the kitchen, down to the wine cellar, and just like through the whole property. Truly a really 
really cool place to visit during the holidays and it's crazy how far in advance you have to book reservations. They're already booked up for this year, but anyone can come and like see the decor and stuff like that. So it was just such a really, really cool experience. Now we are heading to the Fortnite event for day two. Um, so there's a few more games today that they're going to compete in. We're gonna watch, hang out. Yeah, so that's where we're heading next. We are coming back to the event, the Fortnite event. We've got the things behind us and we just got a photo with Cypher. He's one of the streamers. So that was pretty cool. We saw him walking out, but now we're gonna head in. event it was really really cool we watched the final game they played 12 different games and to end it the team that was in second place landed on the team in first place right off the bat we're trying to eliminate them it was a crazy tense moment game 12 last one of the event and second team place ended up losing they yeah so they got knocked out right at the beginning of the last game basically because, they, because yeah. they landed on the number one team so it was crazy like at that moment pretty much everyone knew that the other team won overall because they had the most points and so it was just really really cool to see you know how that all played out at the end so yeah that was a really cool experience um definitely can't wait to go to another event like that in the future and now we are home and we're going to chill make some tea and just hang out We are done for the evening. Uh, we just spent some time editing some more content for tomorrow and some video. We watched some One Piece, just kind of hung out. Now we're about ready to go to bed. It's almost 11 o'clock and yeah, so thanks for watching our day. Stay tuned for the next one.